Dadaism and Surrealism. Dun, dun, dun. These are two different movements that happened at about the same time. So let's take a look at both of them. Okay, we'll start with Dadaism. Once upon a time, there was a guy named Marcel Duchamp. And this is some of the artworks he did. He was considered a Dadaist. Okay, what's that mean? Well, first of all, Duchamp, pronounced Duchamp, was a French artist. But he became an American citizen. And he liked to play chess. Actually, one day... He was playing chess, and he played so much that his bride was like, I'm frustrated with you playing chess all the time. So that night, she glued all his chess pieces to the board, and <laughs> three weeks later, they were divorced. Okay, this painting right here is like new descending a staircase is what it's called, and it's basically a time lapse of a person walking down the stairs, and he drew them and drew them and drew them. Kind of cool. But that's not what he's most famous for. What Duchamp's most famous for is this. It's called Fountain. It's a piece which he called ready-mades. Basically, the idea was he just found things, and he just said it was art. So he made these objects. And this one, in case, was just a toilet, right? And he wrote on it, R. Mutt, mm -hmm, 1917. And then he was going to put it in a show because the show said, hey, we'll take any works. Anything you submit, we'll take. So he submitted this, and they immediately rejected it and said, it's not art. Well, that's what makes art art, because now it's not art. Duchamp, he was cool. Renee, Renee Magritte, I can say it, Magritte. You might have seen this, the apple in front of the guy right there. That's his painting right there. It's very surreal. Like, how's that floating rock just floating there with a castle on top? See, surrealism is like, it's not real. It's like fantasy stuff. And a lot of people like that. Now, one of Magritte's famous works is his Amant series. That's right here. See, what happened was his mother drowned in a river, and he was there when they recovered the body. That's kind of creepy. So then he made all these pictures of people like with these things over their heads because it reminded him like when his mother was floating with her dress covering her face. Kind of creepy, kind of surreal. Anyway, his most famous piece is probably this one here. It's called The Treachery of Images. And it shows a pipe. And on the bottom there, even though it's written in French, it says, this is not a pipe. And you're probably like, yeah, it's a pipe. And they're like, no, it's not a pipe because it says this is not a pipe. And you're like, yeah, it's a pipe. And you're like, no, because it says right there, no, this isn't a pipe. And you're like, yeah, it's a pipe. And they're like, no, you see, it's not a pipe. It's a painting of a pipe. So this is not a pipe. What blows your mind? That's probably Magritte's most famous work. Now, let's look at one more guy, Salvador Dali. You probably heard him, and you've probably seen this painting. It's pretty famous. Now, Salvador Dali had a weird mustache, and that's him right there. Now, he did a lot of unusual things. Like one time, he did a lecture while standing in a pail of milk. And another time he gave a lecture with a boiled lobster on his head. I mean, this guy was crazy. And look at his artwork. Very fantasy, very surreal. Now, he also made a lot of commercials. And I'm going to show you this one right here. Um, actually, I'll put a link to it so you can watch it online. And it's like him selling chocolate bars and stuff like that. <laughs> he was kind of a funny guy. And he also made crazy art like this. Really surreal. Like, what kind of horse has long legs like that? Very crazy and surreal. Of course, his most famous piece is probably the persistence of memory. And that's this piece right here with the melting clocks. He got the idea because he was sitting there one day eating lunch outside, and the cheese got all runny because it was like a hot day in August. And for some reason, he thought he'd do some melting clocks. So there it is right there. And you can see there's other cool stuff in it, like ants on a clock. And uh, I don't know what that thing on the bottom is, but I think it's like an eyeball, like with eyelashes and stuff. Anyway, persistence and memory, probably Dolly's most famous piece. Now, he also did some other pieces you might not know about, but he worked with Walt Disney to create a cartoon called Destino. And I'm going to put a link to it in there because it's not that long, and it's a Disney film, and it's probably a Disney film you never saw because Dolly made it, and it's really crazy. I mean, just look at the images right there. So wait till you watch this video. It's called Destino. Okay, I'm going to play it for you in the video. You get to look at it and watch it. Now, last thing is he was on TV a lot, and he played a game show, show called What's My Line? I'll put a link to that too. You're going to watch a lot of TV, but it's going to be fun. All right, that's it. Dadaism, surrealism. Yeah. Yeah.